Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Chris of Python, and uh, first of all, I just want to apologize for the lack of videos. I've had some troubles with my editing software and whatnot. But anyways, welcome to my sixth episode of Keep Yourself, a squad building series where I basically just build a squad and I tell you if I think they're worth it to keep them or to get rid of them and sell them. Today we will be building a DR Congo team, which I didn't even know they had enough players. My friend actually recommended them to me and uh, so yeah, let's just get in on the squad builder. First off though, there is no DR Congo goalie actually, which is uh, unfortunate, but uh, so I ended up playing Laurie in net. You'll see that he links up with the center back because um, they're from the same league. So everyone still gets 9 cam. You guys all know about Laurie. Probably 88 reflexes, 87 diving, 87 positioning. Absolutely amazing goalkeeper. 6 foot 2. Always got the job done for me. He cost me 2,500 coins. But yeah, Laurie, great keeper. Um, Let's move on to the left center back. I just got flipped over to DR Congo here. Where I played Zakuani, the bronze center back with 80 pace, 68 defending, and 70 heading. Absolutely insane stats. Only 900 coins for this guy. Um, he is amazing. Six foot one, absolute beast. 80 pace on a bronze center back. It's incredible. He was just all over the place. Amazing, amazing. Definitely recommend him. And on to the other center back I played in the middle. As you can see, he's from League One. Cost me 500 coins. And uh, Mongugu, Mongongu, something like that. Cedric. Uh, 66 pace isn't terrible. 76 defending and 76 heading. This guy was just a brick wall in the middle of my defense at six foot two. Absolute brick wall, and you know he links up with Lori nicely, and yeah. And on to the right center back who was Leukemia. Um, he was all right. I mean, got the job done. Six foot three, a uh, thousand coins for this guy. Sixty three pace and seventy six defending. The only thing is he has fifty six heading, which is absolutely terrible for a center back. It never really bothered me though. I didn't really find him to do that bad, I guess. Anyways, uh, yeah, he was all right. I don't rate him too highly. Overall, just pretty. Decent. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Anyways, on to left mid. <clears throat> we have Zakuani, the left mid from the MLS. Only 1,100 coins for this guy, and he has 92 pace. Absolutely insane. He also has 74 dribbling and 64 shooting and 62 passing. But guys, this guy just rapid. Absolutely so fast, so fast. I loved him on the left mid. Great finesse shot, great power shot. He's awesome. He's truly awesome. That's all I can really say about him. And on to the left center mid, we played Macchiati. Another Cedric, man. Everyone from the Air Congo. Half their people are named Cedric, I swear. Anyways, this guy is from the Bundesliga. Cost me a thousand coins again. 80 pace, 70 shooting, 71 passing, 77 dribbling, and 70 defending. As you can see, just a great midfielder. I mean, he was just all over the place. Really never made any mistakes or anything. Decent shot, decent everything, you know. Good holding midfielder. Definitely recommend him. I Definitely for any Bundesliga team or anything, you know. He, great player, great player. On to the right center mid was Malumbu. Malumbu, something like that. He plays in the Premier League. 500 coins. This guy was such a bargain. He's originally a CDM, so I did convert him to center mid, so that's another 1,000 coins or so. But this guy, absolute beast. 73 pace, 58 shooting, 75 defending, and 68 heading. Those stats completely lie. In-game, he has like 87 interceptions and 82 stand tackle, which is absolutely perfect for a CDM. And 58 shot is an absolute joke. Once you guys see the goal is coming up, he scores a long shot that was absolutely brilliant. I just couldn't believe what I got with this guy. You know, a non-rare player in that, I was like, ah, he'll just be my defensive mid. He was a beast. Absolute beast. On to my right mid, I have Kinkella. Who, look at him, just grinning. Um, 450 coins, also from the one. 84 pace, 68 passing, and 67 dribbling were his standout stats. I don't think he, no, he didn't score a goal for me, but... 
He was pretty good. He was more of my crossing kind of guy where if I was running down the right wing or whatever, he would kind of overlay the right wing and get into a perfect position to do the crossing, which was very effective with his team for some reason. But yeah, he was all right. I wouldn't recommend him necessarily. He was just decent. Uh, I don't know. He was all right. Moving on to left wing, though, we have Mabwadi. But in-game, they called him Cedric, which, again, Cedric. Anyways, 600 coins for this guy, and he has 91 pace. Wow, this guy was insane so fast. You know, a lot of these teams have done, like, Colombia and Scotland and stuff, and pretty uh, slow. So to finally play with a fast team just felt awesome, because FIFA comes down to pace. I Probably my ratio with this team was 10 wins to 1, because... I was, it was just so easy, I mean, pace abusing basically, and my low ratings out on this team, as you can see, it's almost all silver players, and then having Loria net, this team was overpowered, I'm going to say, absolutely overpowered. Anyways, this guy, right footed, 5 foot 6, he's a beast, great finesse shots, so quick, awesome player to play with. By the way, I just want to say this quickly, I think almost everyone on the team has 3 star skills, there's no 4 star skillers unfortunately, but um, yeah, everyone is right footed too by the way, which I found kind of strange, but that's probably why I like the left wings a bit more. But anyways, at striker we have Mbokani, who plays in the pro league, he's the only gold player in the team, cost me only 500 coins, but anyways, 85 pace, 79 dribbling, and 81 heading. Beautiful, like he just... He rounded the team very nicely because I had both the pace on the wings and he was there just to connect home as a clinical striker for me. And he still has 85 pace, so you know, still pretty quick. But yeah, this guy, very good. Only 500 coins, might as well try him out. Six feet, beast. Really liked him. And on to the final player of the team, we have Lua Lua. With um, his 84 pace, 73 dribbling. Again, only 500 coins. This guy's. This team was so cheap, so effective. I definitely recommend them. I'm just going to go and say it right now. Keep this team. Definitely give them a try because they were awesome. This guy's from the Empire Championship for Brighton. But yeah, 84 pace, 73 drilling, 66 shooting. But I found he just had a rocket of a shot. And I'm not going to lie, guys. I mainly used the right wing for crossing because they are both right-footed. Couldn't really cut in, you know, on their left foot and whatnot. So... I mainly just use the right wings for crossing and then the left wings for uh, cutting in and finessing and stuff like that. But yeah, guys, um, definitely, I love this team. So, you know, uh, let's get on to the goals and I'll show you what they're made of. Alright, so here we are getting on to the goals. And we just started off here with Mbokani, my striker, absolutely blasting in top net. He was such a great clinical finisher, and <laughs> that was a pretty funny goal right there. He just threw it off the back of the head of Lua Lua, and uh, Lua Lua made him pay. Made him pay. Made him pay. Let's try that. And whoop, whoop, whoop. He liked those step overs. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this team, very, very fast, and that's the key to FIFA, you know? And so it was pretty hard to lose, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I have an 85-rated goalie. I mean, this team was honestly not fair. That's one thing I've always actually kind of wanted them to introduce at FIFA was, in the loading screens, they should show the rating of the goalie. I don't understand why they don't, because he's such a big part of the team that, I mean, players with bronze teams, and then, you know, they have Joe Hart and that and stuff like that. Like, I hate coming up against that. It's not fair. So I, I definitely think they should show the goalie ratings for future, but you never know with EA. And look at Embo Connie just boss that guy right off the ball and he's gonna finish that every time you know and I gotta say the surprise of the team was this guy right here Matt body such a great player look at those step overs only three star skills unfortunately but 91 pace such tight ball control such great finishing I mean that, that, that was pretty much the standard of the whole team like pace ball control dribbling and their shots were fantastic but they were okay enough that they were going to finish chances like those all day, which, which, I don't know. Like, usually I don't win games by a lot. Like, usually I'll go for, you know, after I'm up two or three goals, I start to go for some really nice goals. But because I didn't have any four-star skillers in this team, I kind of just ended up slaughtering people, like winning like 7-8-0, which 
it's pretty uncharacteristic of me, so I don't know. This team for 10 to 15k, how can you go wrong? Like, how can you go wrong? As you can see, leukemia, beautiful header. He only has like 56 heading or something, so I was really, I was really surprised with that. And uh, Mong Mongo, ah, can't say his name, Mongongu, I believe it is. And look at that for a through ball right through to my body. I love that, perfectly weighted, just to put it between the defender and the goalie. And there's the first long shot from Malungu. I told you guys, fantastic player. Definitely my second favorite player of the team with my body being the first. I mean, Malungu's such a surprise. I mean, he's the only non-rare player in the team, and he just played absolutely fantastic. I, I really couldn't believe it. Um, In game, too, like 87 interceptions or whatever, such a great CDM. I would definitely recommend him for any, like, Premier League silver, because look at this for a strike. Boom. 45 yards. There wasn't even any dip on that. It was just so powerful, it just went straight into the net. Goalie couldn't do anything about it. Show a nice little replay here. Look at this. Hey, look, There's no dip on it. It just, like, sails into the net. So, yeah, I guess, what more can I say about this team? I, they're definitely the best team I've played with out of all the keeper cells. They're the cheapest, too, which is kind of ironic. But then again, they are also the most pacey, so it's got to be expected, I guess. But, yeah, I mean, the ratings were like 72, 72, 68 or so. So you're coming up against some pretty poor silver teams. A lot of kind of, you know, people just building up. So I think I played, I played 10 games with this team, and I only lost one game. So definitely recommend them. Definitely keep this squad. Definitely give this squad a try. Even Hugo Lloris scoring goals, as you just saw right there. So, uh, yeah, look at that. I just love I love that goal. He just kind of slipped between the two defenders. Zakuani, beast of a left mid. Definitely recommend him for any of your MLS teams. Um, the only downside to this team, maybe the right mid, Kinkella. He wasn't exactly great. He was, he was kind of just lost in the midfield. But other than that, every player by themselves is very, very good. I very satisfied with this team. I know I'm just rambling on about now. Anyways, guys, the video is coming to an end here. I just want to thank you, all my new subscribers. That's awesome. You know, I can't thank you guys enough. And so, the video is coming to an end. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll uh, see you guys next time. Finish the uh, finish the keeper cell episode off here with Embo Connie.